There are three tips I want to give you before I start the build. The first tip involves these two wooden doors. Whatever you do, do not scrap them. They are hidden within the tunnels of Vault 88. There's a good chance you're not going to build down here due to how the tunnels are designed. And destroying them enables enemies such as super mutants to spawn anywhere in the tunnels. They will spawn here and they'll just wander through the tunnels. It's such a terrible ex experience. I do not recommend destroying it. Now there's one here in the train station. They lead to two different buildings in the wasteland. So it makes more than one entrance in the vault, which makes no sense to me. Whatever you do, just don't destroy it. There's one here. I'll show you where it is on the map. How do I get... To... Oh, there we go. Here it is on the map. I don't know if that helps. And then there's another one. Um, just follow the tunnels. You're sure to find it while exploring. Uh, yeah, it's down here. Sorry. The other one's such... And the other one's just in like a random wooden room. I don't know why. Not destroying these walls ensures that enemies can only spawn outside the door itself. So if you never open it, there's no way for the enemies to get inside. And that's the best part. The second one's in this room. You come up here and it's right there. This one leads to a cafe, which you can build in. But like I said, it's not worth it. Just do not destroy the wall the second tip involves a comic book found in hardware town for those who don't know hardware town is a building just outside diamond city what's special about this magazine is it allows the user to build a variety of modern looking clean high-tech lamps I want you to grab this because no matter how you build Volt 88, these lights just look really well inside of it. Seeing that it's very easy to grab, I figured I'd just show you where it is. Just come into Hardware Town. It doesn't matter your level, there's a bunch of raiders in here, which if you're not prepared, they could kill you. It's really easy to just run upstairs, grab it, and get out. At max, it should, it should take like two stim packs, so right if you're not high enough level to fight them or do the quest, it's really not that big of a deal. Just jump over the jump over the shelf, Get come up here, car. run upstairs, open the door, come in here, and right on the table there's a magazine called Picket Fences. And that's really it. The third tip involves connecting the vault itself to the east, east sector. Now, there's a lot of people online just flat out say you cannot connect it due to how narrow the tunnel is. And while that is true, there's actually a workaround. What you need to do is once you unlock the northeast east sector, now there's like three different workbenches you need to go around and activate. It's pretty self-explanatory once you do the quest line there's a wall up this clip and what that allows you to do is connect the vault to that sector you just walk up here and once you have this area unlocked you can just destroy that wall for those who are completely new to vault 88 in the east sector there's a water purifier that once active gets you a hundred water which is more than enough for the vault but be warned as there is a bunch of Mirelurks including a Mirelurk queen in that room. 
The last thing I wanted to mention involves Vault Tech security armor. For those who have been to Vault 81, you know that the security guards there have custom Vault Tech armor. Now, what most people do, seeing that you can't get the um, the Vault Tech armor for Vault 88, is they go kill the security guards there and take that one. I don't like that because it says Vault 81 on the armor. So what I like to do is including the Creation Club add-on Vault Tech armor paint and Vault Tech weapon paint. I like to give the dwellers I want to be security guards um, combat armor, and I just painted the Vault Tech colors. It costs. 100 atoms for each thing respectively so 200 in total total however the armor goes free the armor and the weapon skins go free all the time i would just keep checking until they go free it definitely not only is combat armor stronger than the vault armor with the matching skin it just it fits vault 88 the aesthetic of it perfectly and that's why I like it so much. As you can see, uh, the Vault Tech, it works on many weapons. However, I would just give the security guards either like a combat rifle or a pistol. Because that's what they would probably have in the Vault. I hope that helps you. With all that out of the way, let's get into the build itself. Now, the first thing I like to do is add a staircase. So under the Vault tab, head to 8 or... Head to domestic, sorry. Find the, um, the stairs. Add that. And then find the um, hallway to doorway. There it is, hallway to door doorway. And just pop that on the end there. Um, you do not have to worry about building materials. What's found in the vault itself, it should be more than enough to build the atrium as well as many rooms. So with that out of the way, go to uh, supports, add, add that. There's no reason to add the supports because after you're done, after you're finished building the vault, you never see the outside of it again. Just, I just like having it. If if anything, it's more just a waste of resources. To me, it just looks complete. You do not have to do it if you don't want to. Now, find the um, the doorway mid tab. Add it to the end of the door, or add it to the end of the hall. Add a door, and then find the. Um, Find the atrium end pieces. Make sure to make sure it's not touching the ground. Pop that on the other side. And then similar to the door mid, find the wall mid. Now you can jump up there and place it, or on PlayStation, you can hold down X and use L1 to move it up. Now, when it comes to building the um, the atriums itself, make sure it's an odd number. It just makes adding rooms later symmetrical. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure to count for another end piece, this time on the other side, if that makes sense. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just repeat the same thing on the other side. There we go. Alright, now this time instead of adding a wall mid, you wanna add the overseer's window. Because what you're going to do is, 
With this leftover space, you're gonna build the overseer's room. I'd also recommend adding the glass itself to the window before building the overseer's room, because if you do it the other way around, it just glitches the window out. I know, it's really strange. On this side, you wanna add another door mid, and then on the corners, you're gonna add corner tops on each of the four corners and then you're gonna add wall tops and this is what it should look like so far next step is to find the wall bottoms. So place one under the door and do every single one except for the corners. Go ahead and add the corners. And then fill in the floor. Oops. And once that done, after that's over, you want to find the, I believe they're called the uh, floor middle, or they're just called the hanging floor. Find the one that's called hanging floor, not, not floor and ceiling. The reason behind that is it has these things that show it's connected to the wall. It's purely cosmetic, if you really, Hated that, you could do these ones. For the sake of the video, we're gonna use what's called the hanging floor. Add this on each of the walls. Oh, sorry, that was the corner, my mistake. You have to do it in this order, adding the walls and then the floors. As if you do it the other way around, uh, again, it causes the walls to glitch out. I actually believe it just prevents you from placing the walls on the bottom altogether. That's why you gotta do it in this particular order. Now find the um, hanging floor corner and just pop that in each of the four corners. last part of the build is it's how you want to do it for me I like to have a staircase by the entrance and then by the overseers window I like to have a bridge going across the middle so if you want to follow along with what I'm doing find the bridge that has the poles sticking out place it in the middle, so one, two, three, bridge, one, two, three. Find the bridge that just connects all the way to the end. And then at the end here, find the one that curves out again. It's a little bit finicky. And then you're gonna add railings to finish everything off. You want the ones 
that do not curl at the ends. So, add it at each of these ones. And then you're gonna wanna find the corner. There's two different corners. One of them will work and the other one will refuse to be placed. Just use the one that works. Like so. And then the last thing you want to find the railing that curves at the end of it, but the longer variant. There's two different versions, a short one and a long one. You want the long one because it prevents you from walking off the edge, where the short one you can just walk right off. Go ahead and add that on the other side. As you can see, you cannot walk off and do it again over here Oops, that was the wrong side and the last thing you want to do is add the door to the overseer's room and that is it that is the complete atrium the last part of building the vault, adding the rooms, that's purely up to you. What I like to do is the bottom's up to however you want to design it. So say you want to add a room here, for example, or a hallway. What you need to do is replace, seeing that we used a wall bottom here, you want to replace it with a doorway bottom and then just build whatever you want on the other side. What I like to do is have a room here, a room here, or a door there, a door there, it doesn't matter. And then I like to have the cafeteria on this side, so I'll have like a door here, for example, then like a window there, or a window there, and a door there. That's how I like to have it personally. When it comes to building the overseer's room, Go to Overseer, find the door, build it as followed. In order to access the window, what you need to do is build an Overseer's room here. Go to Domestic, find the staircase that loops around, it's called Stairwell, and then build a second floor. If you really wanted, you could also have a basement. So um, I hope that makes sense. I like to have utility on the top floor, so like a cafeteria, maybe a barber's room. What do you have here? You have security, nursery, clinic, cafeteria. And then at the bottom, I like to have hallways branching out to the other areas of the vault. And I like to have bedrooms down here as well. Um, That's the gist of it. If you want me to make a video going over how to build the rest of the vault, like how I design all the rooms, please let me know. And the most tedious part of build building a vault is lighting it. Now, over the years I perfected, without using any mods, I can get it almost like how they have it in Vault 81. The best part about this technique as well is you can have it so you do not have to see the lights at all. They're just there. I plan to make that video sometime this week, hopefully tomorrow. So if you want to know how to light the vault, if you don't want to do it yourself, please subscribe, stick around for that. That is all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. A last minute addition. I also plan to make a video going over how to clean up and light the entrance. It's completely different to the atrium. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of objects in the entrance that leave dirt and like scrap and once you destroy the specific object it makes all that go away. I'll show you what to keep, what to get rid of, um, if that also um, if you're also interested in that, do stick around. 
again, thank you.